Shot. 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 Should we? Yes. I'm kind of scared. I what the flip is up, Tubers? You didn't clap. I did clap. I just clapped at the same time as you. Oh. What the flip is up, Tubers? There we go. We filmed this video two months ago. Our original fun idea was that we were going to get a little drunk. So and little. give you guys some advice on your problems. You guys have a lot of problems. Oh! And <laughs> when we, we tried to film this last time, we did black out. Blacked out. I love Shamu. I love killer whales. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. No, don't cry. But also cry if you want. I don't want to cry. You can cry. No, cry if you want. <laughs> It's so embarrassing. No, it's not. The ocean, it's so important. Let's clean up our beaches. She laughed in my face, bro! She laughed! And she didn't give a fuck! She's a seven year old! Exactly! Die! <laughs> I have to fucking care! I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be still alive, alive and you're not! not. Don't remember um, what I said. Don't either. So At the sorry. end of that night, she was literally puking in the toilet. Crying. crying and puking. I thought it would be really funny if we read the same questions, answered it sober, and then cut to us <laughs> trying to answer it drunk. <laughs> Hammered as hell. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do today. Also, got new merch, ladies. Check it out. It says, no, not like that. It's totally. I was just trying to be hype about it. <laughs> totally. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. We only have a little bit of time because she has to go to work. She has a graveyard shift. I do. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I really like this guy I work with, but I have absolutely no idea how to even hint him that I like him or something like that. I mean, I don't even know how to flirt. F me. I remember trying to answer this. I remember what I said. I completely don't believe in it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? This was literally me and Will's situation. Yes. <laughs> you know yeah. how to answer. Cause like play little silly pranks on him, like do some like fun silly shit. Really try to flirt it up. Gotta flirt it up. <sighs> Being professional, but also like poking fun at them without getting sued. <laughs> you have to make it apparent, but subtle. Not too overboard where it's like, Wow, you're looking so fucking hot right now. Not too much. See how they react and then like go from that and play some pranks. And I guess play some pranks. <laughs> Whenever Will would play a pr prank on me, I would just like try to hate him, but I'm like, that was so cute. Like, he, <laughs> cared, he like cared enough to like play a prank on me. When you play a prank, it's to make the other person laugh. Uh, Laughter is a form of love. Be just like be yourself. <laughs> be, I don't, play, play pranks. pranks. <laughs> be yourself. You have to find that good in between. Be a prank But I feel like you shouldn't go after people you work with just because if they're not into you back, it could just create some really, really uncomfortable tension. Unless it's like a fun little teenage job. A teeny bopper job. That would be fun to like flirt with him, play some pranks. <laughs> be a prankster. Be a prankster, make him laugh. You get a whoopee cushion. <laughs> yes. I feel like if it's like an adult job, oh, I wouldn't go there. The Pam and Jim thing on The Office, like everybody wants that so bad, but I feel like I would hate that shit. Yeah. Like I see you every day after work. I don't want to see you at work. <laughs> <laughs> Going to work is like my free time away from it. <laughs> oh my God. If this is just like a casual little job that you're doing, like- Thank you. Just like talk. Talk to them. Hey, do you have an Instagram? Follow him on Instagram. Do you have a TikTok? It do you want to make a TikTok together? <laughs> Do you want to make a thriller? <laughs> Don't touch him at all at work. Don't touch him at all. And if he touches you, then get away. Just feel the vibe. Yeah, feel the vibe. Harry's crotch. His thighs, goddamn. <laughs> all right. His feet. They're so hairy. Mm. Huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Advice on how to love yourself. Um, Me, two nights ago, was <laughs> sobbing about how much I hate myself. I'm really good at loving my personality. And that's the most important part. There you go. This is just a ass. 
An what ass. Am I <laughs> Stole an ass. <laughs> you are just an ass, sweetie. <laughs> you are what just anything a else looks like. To everyone else. This is just a space suit. I was gonna say astronaut suit. <laughs> this is just a shell. So when you go about your day and you're making decisions on how you're acting with people, how you're presenting yourself and all of that, if you can go home and be confident on it's how like you practice. treated other people. Exactly. If you think you're fucking awkward, so is everyone else. There's so many moments where I'm like, God, that was so awkward. And then I talk to people about it and they're like, what? I didn't even think twice. They're all right, next. Okay. Really comprehend this shit. Okay, 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 okay. Advice on how to love yourself. I have to pee really bad. <laughs> Go. Can I? Yes! Will you? Uh, Maybe should we take a shot? Should we tube nation? Should we tube that's nation? <laughs> she wants to take another shot! <laughs> <laughs> I know dude. How do you get over guys quickly? I remember your story time about when you first kissed a guy and it was so bad that he never talked to you again. Facts. So I can relate to Sarah's whole thing about the guy kissing you and then never talking to you again, except I lost my virginity. That is not the same thing, dude. <laughs> but like, I lost my virginity and the dude didn't talk to me until I called him a year later. <laughs> I was like, fuck you, you broke my heart. That whole year, like I was a mess. Like anytime I would like, get drunk, I would cry about <sighs> it. They had, like, I couldn't like talk to guys. Like I just felt so disgusting about myself and like shameful. Yeah, shameful. Which is so dumb. My confidence went down the drain because I was like, I thought I was cool. I, I thought know. you liked me. And so, you just wanted to fuck. <laughs> exactly. And then I called him about it and I was like, you're a fucking asshole. I hope you know that I'm finally fucking done crying about this. And he like apologized. I had that closure. After that phone call, it was fine. Don't you care. need to hold them accountable. Yes. Yeah. Be like, you need to realize that I'm human and like you're fucking with my emotions and that's not cool. Getting over someone for like a breakup or whatever, time is your best friend. Just mute them. Just try not to check in on them because that's just going to like fester some more shit. You just have to like step back and be like, I don't deserve to be treated like this. Yeah. It if any dude is like giving you a hard time, chances are you are hotter than them. Oh! And on top of that, they're making you cry. You're a better person than them. Oh! Exactly. And the worst part is, is they're probably not even thinking about it. Yeah. How the way to yeah. get over guys fast is fucking other guys. I'm just kidding. I mean, but like <laughs> low key, yeah. That's I one personally that. haven't yeah. done that. Yeah. Neither. <laughs> get this bitch. My first kiss was on New Year's Eve. <gasps> I didn't really even want to kiss yet. But since it was New Year's Eve, people are supposed to kiss. Kissed him, missed his mouth. Imagine what it's like after you're drunk and like getting anxiety the next day after you're drunk and being like, oh my God, I did some stupid shit. Imagine feeling that way without being drunk. <laughs> Honestly, oh, I didn't even kiss his mouth. <gasps> I'm really anxious and then him never talked. I had sex. <laughs> How should someone like me deal with anxiety and everyday stresses that come with learning how to do things on my own and being an adult? Just doing one thing at a time. Like if you know you got bills to pay, I'm gonna do this right when I wake up so it's out of the way, I don't have to think about it. For me, I get really anxious when like my shit's a mess. Like sometimes Sarah and I have to be like, okay, today we are power cleaning the house. Rage and cleaning. Rage cleaning, top to bottom. And then we do it and literally as soon as we're done, we feel so weird. much. Better? We don't realize that that's what's like creating most of the anxiety. Yeah. Turn on some music while you're paying bills or doing whatever you have to do while you're running errands. Create a checklist. I and then when you look back on the list and see all the checked boxes, you're like, wow. And then you get to throw it away. And, and then, then you have another, another list the next day. day. <laughs> Fuck. And then another <laughs> list, and then another list, and then another list, and then another list. Trying to help them with their anxiety. I know. God damn, that just probably made it so worse. Not the way I should deal with things, but like, I really just like cry, and then I like sleep to numb it. <laughs> and that's been me for like the past Wait, week. Wait, but at least you like cry. No, like I definitely Crying's cry, good. and I, I, I like cry, and I talk about it. Yeah. But like, once I start talking about it, I feel really good. And then once I'm like in my head about shit, yeah, is sleep. when it's like I'm gonna sleep to like not exist. This. Exactly.
exactly. But and you guys, that's don't not, do that. That's it's not so a good, bad. not a good coping mechanism for anxiety. What I do when I experience anxiety, <laughs> I'm not saying that what you do is wrong. I'm not saying what you do is wrong. Like I get it though. Like sometimes, sometimes like you just have to like no, go through totally. that like phase. Yeah. And then after that, I'm like, okay, time to get my yes. shit together. Sleeping is just gonna make it worse but it's just gonna be put on hold Ex yeah so instead of sleeping and just forgetting and neglecting those responsibilities that you have to do that you have to do might as well just face that shit head on and get that shit done so then you can relax i recommend meditation yeah. yeah, like letting yourself feel your emotions mm -hmm. and like like that's the one thing that's so important Understanding why you feel those things mm -hmm. and your not... depression's like hey Just go to sleep. It'll Ex be dead kind of <laughs> Exactly, and I'm trying not to feel dead So my recent ex-boyfriend and I broke up mutually to grow and become better people But another reason why we broke up which I didn't tell him was that he literally always wanted to have sex with me and I felt like that's why he always wanted to see me. Oof. We only broke up less than two months ago and he was my best friend and we have dated for almost two years. Do you think I should tell him that it really bothered me and made me feel bad about myself? Yeah. I do. Yeah. Like, I think that you need to be honest with him because like you guys broke up mutually to grow as better people. He needs to know these things so his next relationship won't be the same Like way. if the purpose was to grow, like yeah. he needs to know that in order to grow from that. I think that for your next relationship, um, since this would help you maybe, just withhold sex for a few months and yeah. see if they can handle it. If they really like you for you, then they'll be with you and they don't need the sex that comes with it. Yeah. And then that would give you reassurance and like peace. But also don't start the relationship being like, I'm gonna wait this amount of time until oh, I, yeah. yeah. Just be like, feel it out. Until you're comfortable. Yeah. But maybe you are comfortable with having sex right on the bat. Just make sure that they have the best intentions for you because a lot of guys do just wanna fuck. If you're not that sexually active than him, first of all, tell him, be like, yo, I don't wanna have sex. And if that's a problem, yeah. don't date me. Like, it's okay to be vocal about that. And I feel like as women, we tend to like hold back and just like have sex with them because they want to, but yeah. we can say no if we want. Yeah, like that's such a gross feeling when you like really don't want to have sex and then you're like, uh. But they're like, come on, babe, just like, you made my dick hard. Like, yeah. blue balls. It's like, fuck your, blue balls don't exist. Yeah, Shut fuck the fuck up. Balls. They'll go away. Wah. Yeah. That is my biggest pet peeve. When a guy's just like, babe, like, he just got me horny. It's like, I was just sitting here. <laughs> I was just laying Sorry here. Sorry I'm tits. Sorry I'm ass. only an ass. <laughs> Sorry we're cuddling and watching a movie and you get a boner yeah. for rubbing your dick. Like, I don't wanna fuck. That's okay. Okay, so I feel like it's weird. <laughs> It's so important. I hope one day I can make a difference with that shit. I just want to be on the beach. Me too. I want to be on the ocean. ocean. So my friend started getting hella distant with me at the end of last year, and I just wanted to ignore it because I didn't want to drama fill junior year. And now that the school year has started, it got worse. Now she's going through a friend to tell her to tell me, and that she's so what? Oh, and that she's so sorry and she wants to make it up to me, but then acts like I don't exist. Um, drop them. Fuck that hoe! <laughs> literally, literally. That is the most petty, annoying shit ever. How old are you? They're juniors? And you have to play telephone with Whoa. other people to have a conversation she's with this bitch? She's immature. She's catty. She's fake. Mm-hmm. Clearly not a good friend. Why do you want her in your life? Like I get, especially if you guys have been friends for a minute. It doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck. If somebody's being a shitty friend, cut them out. Cut that toxic shit. Cut the toxic shit out. And then just don't involve yourself in that and find other friends that would never do this. High school is so temporary. I really only talk to like two of my friends from high school. High school is nothing. The yeah. real world is gonna smack you. Once you graduate high school, you don't gotta see these bitches again if you don't want to. Ever. Okay. okay. 
It's so hard for me to read. <laughs> Do you want me to read? No, I'm good. Okay. I'm just drunk. <laughs> and you can cut the tension with a knife. She's being immature. As a Libra. She's supposed to be like, your friend. And she's acting all like, Oh, I don't even know that you exist anymore. Like, no. No, that's not cool. Is she really that much of a fucking wiener? She doesn't care about you. Exactly. I hate my job so much. <laughs> I want to take a risk and leave it, but I'm scared. Help me. Also, I have two boyfriends. <laughs> How do you do that? I can't even get one. The fuck? Two? two? How do you- And the job? And the everyday stress. I have had my fair share of jobs that I fucking hated and have left. Just like apply for stuff, find another job. As soon as you get that job, put your two weeks in and call it done. Find a job that you genuinely would want to go to every day yes. or try to. You have to do what you can for your mental health. Apply on the side, go to job interviews on your days off. Mm -hmm. And the whole two boyfriends <laughs> thing. Fucking choose one and call it a day. <laughs> choose one that you like more! Yeah. Do they know? Is it actually boyfriend, girlfriend, or is it like you guys were dating? We need more context, bitch. Yeah. But her question is, is that bad? Yes. I mean, yes, if you're in a relationship gonna, with each one and yeah. they don't know. It's just gonna bite you in the ass. <laughs> Take care of that. <laughs> Put that on your list of yes. the one thing you need to get done today. <laughs> Invite them both over, make them some food, and just talk about it and be like, are you guys down? To, like, I retract that statement for her. Do not do that. <laughs> Yeah, that could get really ugly. Yeah. The guys start dating each other. <laughs> or they, just, they, they just become best friends. So I mean, they're like, fuck you. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, no. This is a question for motherfucking you. Okay. I hate my job so much. Ah, my food. I'll listen to it without crying. Okay, okay, okay. And I want to take a risk and leave it. Also, I have two boyfriends. <laughs> That's where I stop relating to her. <laughs> Boy, do I know what it's like to hating your job. Shut. I can't wait for you to edit this because it's gonna be so embarrassing. <laughs> Next question. When does it become weird for someone to not have their first kiss? Never! <laughs> wait till the time is right for you and no one else. Yeah. Okay, don't feel pressure. There's pressured. no age where that needs to happen. Mm. But talking you to somebody- You could literally be- Literally need to be lean. Literally be 25 years old and not have your first kiss, and that's okay. It doesn't matter. It I mean, unless you're like 50. And then that's like, mm. that's just like, sweetie, you just need to get out there. <laughs> and, and like, you just need to get out Get there. out of your house. Experiment somehow. I just moved into a new place and I'm already having roommate issues because everybody wants to use my things without asking. I've already told my roommate, who was a good friend initially, to please ask before using my things and she just got mad at me and started a fight over it. Now it's awkward silence whenever she comes into the room. How do you and your roommate set boundaries and deal with this sort of thing? It's just that I feel like the type of person you are. Yeah, it's literally just like what you're Sarah comfortable with. Sarah and I are just like, yeah. Literally today. What? I went into the shower. Oh yeah. yeah. Like literally today I went into the shower and I go to shave and I pick up my razor and there's all these pubes in it. Hey. No, let me finish the story. So there's all these pubes in it and I'm giggling in the shower like this stupid bitch and I'm like washing the pubes out of it. Finish my shower, I come downstairs and I'm like, did you use my razor last, like yesterday? Or and something? I honestly had to think about it. Yeah, I'm like, did you use my razor to like shave your cooch? Like, why is there so many pubes in my razor? So the first three things that came to my mind, I'm like, did I shave that area recently? No, okay, X. Secondly, <laughs> I have my own razor, so I wouldn't use hers. That's a factor that's gone. Thirdly, I just wouldn't shave my pubes with your razor. Yeah. But then also it wouldn't make sense because I'm her roommate, so yeah. who else would? But then we realized. Yeah, then we we had, had like a friend over and she brought other friends over because like they had been camping out for this concert and they needed to shower and shit. So I guess her or one of her friends did it, which is fine. Like it's, I'm not, I'm literally not mad at all. I was laughing. If I was living with someone else and that happened, they could have came at me hot yeah. and been like, what the fuck? Why would you shave your pubes with my razor? Yeah. And I'd be like, I didn't. 
We've just been friends for so long. If she comes into my room and takes a shirt, I don't give a fuck. And I like go into her room and take her makeup sometimes and I know she wouldn't care. Yeah. But if I knew that she would care and it would be an actual situation, then I wouldn't do it. Yeah. So in your case, she's just inconsiderate. You just need to set those boundaries with her. Start hiding your things that you know that she might take. Just because like, even if you do have that conversation with her, she could still just keep doing it and be inconsiderate. If she keeps doing it, just make a mental no, count down the days till your lease is up and then get the fuck out of there. That's mm -hmm. just how it is with roommates. Mark your food if it bothers you that much. Get a mini fridge, put it in your room, get a little padlock on your <laughs> fridge. On she your has fridge. To, like, do a little you vial, start like locking all your groceries <laughs> in. There's this one, but it's like. <laughs> all right, wait, wait bitch. Wait, bitch. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna stop this. Okay, let's take this. I'll give you $20 if you stop hiccuping. No fucking way. It literally works no every time. No fucking way. I'm like, you know you can't control hiccups. And it doesn't, it works. $20? Yeah, that, that would literally double my income right now. Is it just the... Is it just me saying the words twenty dollars? I literally don't have to hook up anymore. I love it. Do you have to go? I yeah. really do have to okay. go. Should we close it up? I'll close it up. You can, you can say what you say. <laughs> say what you gotta say. What do I say? <laughs> Be like, bye guys, I'm going to work. Bye guys, I'm going to work. <laughs> bye. Can I wear this to work? Yeah. Thanks. Are you allowed to? Um, I'm gonna be like, I'm cold. I'm not putting a t-shirt on. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. Okay, so that is all the time that we have today. Christelle is going to work and I'm going to twerk. I'm gonna put some music on and just twerk it out. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys got some insight. I hope the drunk bits made you laugh. I love killer whales. Love you so much. Game, game,